Firecrackers and the beating of drums echo through the city as the Chinese New Year Parade takes over San Francisco. Every year, hotels are booked, restaurants are filled, and the streets are lined with those who've come to watch this magical event. You know, we estimate there'll be, given the weather, a million people that come from all over the Bay Area. In fact, some people fly from Seattle and Los Angeles just to come to the parade. The Chinese New Year Parade is the largest parade of its kind outside of Asia and one of the most anticipated events in San Francisco. Everyone gets excited about this parade. It's beautiful, it's, you know, twilight, and uh, I'm excited every year to participate. The Chinese New Year Parade is one of the largest events that happens in the city each year. You would think with all of the excitement and all of these spectators that the parade would bring in big bucks for San Francisco. But when we made calls to the parade office, to Mayor Ed Lee's office, to the Chinatown Chamber of Commerce and others, no one can give us a number that reflected what this event brings in for the city. I believe it's bringing in millions of dollars of revenue to the city uh, and all sorts of good economic activity throughout the entire city, particularly during this weekend. Tourism dollars are huge and it, it means a lot to the economy of the city and the Bay Area. It's a really huge economic engine for the city. Although the exact revenue brought in by the parade is not known, the influence is not hard to calculate. It's events like this that bring people to the city and keep them coming back, even on other days when there's not a parade. I love just the community coming out and having a great time. I love the firecrackers. Uh, I love the lion dancers. Uh, the parade is always fun. Usually it rains, but tonight we've been very lucky in the new year of the snake. Reporting in San Francisco, I'm Heather Young.